Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is the first example on uh, the topic uh, uh, torque on a current uh, loop. Uh, the problem says a circular coil of 160 turns uh, has a radius of 1.9 centimeters and carries a current I. If the maximum torque that the coil can experience in a uniform uh, magnetic field uh, is uh, 35 millitesla, this is the magnitude of the magnetic field, is 0 0.08 uh, newton meter. This is the maximum torque. What is the value of the current passing through uh, the coil? So what is given in this problem is that a uh, coil is it has number of turns, 160 turns, okay, and it is circular. Uh, the radius is 1.9 centimeter, so this implies that the area, cross-sectional area, is just pi r, pi r squared, okay? And the maximum torque, what is the torque uh, on uh, a current loop? It is given by mu, which is the, mag uh, the magnetic dipole moment, uh, cross product with the magnetic field, okay? So mu cross B. So the torque has a magnitude, we can write it as uh, mu uh, magnitude, B magnitude, okay? Sine the angle between, between the two, okay? So the torque will be maximum torque, max, uh, is uh, achieved when when theta equals 90, 90 degrees. So when this theta is uh, 90, so sine 90 will, will be one, and the torque will be will be maximum. So in this case, uh, torque max magnitude equals mu magnitude multiplied by uh, B magnitude, okay? Uh, so what is mu? Mu, which is the magnetic dipole moment, we have seen this in the uh, concept. Mu is uh, N, which is the number of turns, multiplied by the current, multiplied by the area, the cross-sectional uh, uh, area. And uh, B uh, is given, so everything, uh, uh, is given here. Uh, so torque max is given in the problem. Torque max has a magnitude of 0 0.08, 0 0.08 newton uh, meter. And B is given in magnitude to be 35 milli tesla, so 10 to the minus 3 uh, tesla. So I can uh, come and plug in the values here. So torque max is 0 0.08 uh, Newton meter equals mu. Magnitude is just N I multiplied by the area. All of this multiplied by B, which is 35, 10 to the minus 3 uh, Tesla. So N is given to be 160, area is pi r square, and we are left with the, with the current. So the current can be uh, calculated uh, directly. So this will be 0 0.08 divided by uh, n area, and this much uh, Tesla. So n is 160 multiplied by area, which is pi r square, r, which is uh, 1.9, don't forget to convert it from centimeter to meter, so this is 1.9, 10 to the minus 2, all squared, so this is pi r squared, this is the area, and don't forget to uh, include the magnetic field, which is 35 milli, milli tesla. If you do this calculation uh, correctly, you will get 12.6 ampere. 12.6 ampere. This is the current which will uh, uh, give you this uh, maximum maximum torque. Thank you. Uh, this is the second example on torque on a current loop. We have 100 turns coil 
as you can see, this is the coil and it consists of 100 turns, circular one, lies in the XZ plane. This is X axis, Z axis. It is lying in the XZ uh, plane, has an area of two uh, meters squared and carries a current I equals 0.3 amps in the direction indicated in uh, the figure. Uh, the coil lies in a magnetic field directed along the positive x-axis, as you can see it, this is V, uh, and has a magnitude of 1.5 Tesla. Okay? We want to know how much uh, is the magnitude and direction of the torque on the coil. Okay? So, to answer this question, we need to write the formula for uh, the torque. So, the torque on uh, a current loop equals mu cross mu cross v. So we want to write these two vectors, the mu vector, which is the magnetic dipole moment, and the magnetic field uh, vector. So mu here, in this case, it has a magnitude of what? N, I, and the area. Okay, so this is the magnitude. But what is the direction? To know the direction of mu, you need to use the right hand. The right hand, the fingers of your right hand should move with the current, okay? It will curl with the loop, uh, with the current in the loop. The uh, thumb will tell you the direction of the uh, magnetic dipole moment, mu. Okay, as you can see, it will be in this direction, down. So this is y-axis, it will be in the negative y direction. So this is minus, minus j direction, okay? Uh, so, we can plug in the numbers, n is 100, uh, i is 0 0.3, area is uh, 2, so this will be 100 multiplied by uh, 0 0.3 multiplied by uh, 2, all of this in the minus j uh, direction. So, mu can be uh, written as uh, uh, 60. This is 60 in the minus j direction. Okay, it is in the negative y-axis. Uh, what about b? This is mu vector, the magnetic dipole moment. The magnetic field, b is 1.5 along the positive x. So this is 1.5 along the positive i, i direction. Okay, let us come back here. Torque will be... Uh, 60 in the minus j direction, cross product with 1.5 along the i direction. So, we know that j cross i gives us minus k, but there is a minus sign, so minus minus k will give us plus k. So, this will be 90, 60 multiplied by 1.5 is 90, and this will be positive, positive k. So, the magnitude of the torque is uh, 90 Newton uh, meter, this is the unit, and its direction is along the positive uh, Z axis, okay? So, torque has a magnitude of 90 Newton meter, and it is along positive Z axis, okay? So, this will be... <clears throat> the magnitude and direction of the torque. This was our answer to part A. Part B, how much work should we do in order to rotate the loop 90 degrees clockwise about the z-axis? Okay, so this is the z-axis, as you can see. This is the z-axis, and this is the loop. We want to rotate this loop about the z-axis 90 degrees, okay? Uh, Clockwise, so this is the clockwise direction. Uh, so finally, the loop will be in the YZ plane. Okay, so finally, this is part, this was A, part B. Let me try to draw it for you. So this is uh, X, Y, that is Z. Okay, so finally, the loop will be something like, like this. Okay. It is in the uh, uh, Y, Z plane, okay? And the current is 
in that direction. So mu in this case mu will be in this direction. This is uh, uh, mu and b is in this same same direction. Okay. So if we uh, sorry the current is going this way mu is in the opposite direction. If you use the right hand rule right hand rule this is i okay mu will be with the thumb so it is coming this way mu so the angle between mu and b is uh, 100 is 180 okay would like to know so this is the final final situation and this was the initial situation this is initial okay and this is the final situation we want to know how much work done by us. So it is external force. So work applied by definition, it is delta U, which is U final minus U minus U initial. Uh, let us calculate how much is U final and how much is U initial. U in general is minus mu dot B. It is the dot product of mu and b with a minus with a minus sign. This will give us the potential energy uh, 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 there stored in uh, in this system of a coil carrying current in external magnetic field. So u final, or let me start with u initial. U initial. We have a minus sign, okay, and mu. We know mu, which is uh, 60, okay. Uh, multiplied by uh, B, which is 1.5, 1. 1. multiplied by cosine, because dot product, we need to have the cosine between mu and B. And initially, what was the angle between them? We know that mu was in this direction. Okay, so this is mu. And the angle between B and mu was 90. So cosine 90, cosine 90, this will give us, give us zero. So initially, u is equal to zero. Finally, this will be minus also 60 divided by 1.5 cosine the angle between them. What is the angle between uh, mu and b? Finally, it is 180, as you can see. Okay, so 180 cosine 180 is minus one. So this will give us minus one multiplied by this minus will give us pl plus. 90, 90 joules, okay? So, uh, the work applied will be U final minus U initial, which is 90 minus zero, and this will be 90, 90 joules. This is the amount of work we need to do in order to uh, 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 get the, uh, how much work we should do. Let me ask the, the question a different way. He asked us how much work we should do. Let me add one more question. Let me call it part C. How much work work done by magnetic field to do this rotation? It is the same rotation. It was initially like this. Finally, it is like that, rotation 90 degrees clockwise about the z-axis. How much is the work done by the magnetic field? Magnetic field will do a conservative force, okay? So in that case, work conservative will be minus delta u, okay? Which is u initial minus u final, okay? And u initial, we have seen it to be uh, zero minus u final, which is 90, as you can see, it will be minus 90, minus 90 joules, okay? Or, in general, work applied equals minus work conservative. Of course, if delta K is equal to, is equal to zero. So, we start uh, with <coughs> uh, at rest, the loop is at rest, and finally, the loop also will be at rest, so there is no change in its uh, kinetic energy. Thank you. Third example on uh, the torque on a current loop. Circular coil of 500 turns has a radius of 1.9 centimeter. Calculate the current that 
results in a magnetic dipole moment of magnitude 1.9 ampere meter square. So here we are given uh, mu, okay, this is part A, magnetic dipole moment has a magnitude of 1.9 ampere meter square. And we know uh, this is equal to N, which is the number of turns, multiplied by the current, multiplied by the cross-sectional cross-sectional area, okay? Uh, so N, we are given N, N is 500 turns, uh, current, we don't know, and the area, because it is circular uh, coil, area is just pi, pi R square, okay? So we want to know how much is the current, okay? So from here, we can write that the current equals uh, the magnitude of mu, divided by n uh, area, okay? So this will be 1.9 uh, divided by n, which is 500, okay? Divided by pi uh, r squared, okay? So this is pi r squared, r is 1.5, 1.9, uh, 10 to the minus 2, because it is given in centimeters. Here, everything should be in SI units. Don't forget the square, so this is pi r uh, squared. And if you do uh, this uh, calculation, it will be 3.35 ampere. Okay, this is the answer for part, part A. Part B, find the maximum magnitude of the torque that the coil carrying this current can experience in a uniform magnetic field of 35 millitesla. Okay. So we want to know how much is the maximum torque. Torque maximum magnitude is uh, equal to what? The magnitude of the torque, we know it to be magnitude of mu multiplied by the magnitude of the magnetic field multiplied by sine the angle between, between the two. But to have the maximum, this angle should be 90 degrees because sine 90 will give us, will give us uh, one, okay? So, uh, to find this maximum, mu, we know it, it is 1.9, okay, uh, ampere meter square, multiplied by the magnetic field, which is 35 milli tesla, so 35, 10 to the minus uh, 3, and this will give us the maximum torque, 6.65 times 10 to the minus 2 newton, newton meter. And that's it for uh, the last uh, example. Thank you.